So you have your Petri dish, right? So remember you took your spa bacteria and then you took three circular pieces of filter paper. See them right here. And you swab them in either water, that was your control, or three different uh, microbe killing agents. So whether it was hand sanitizer or 409 or Lysol or Simply Green all-purpose cleaner or Dawn dish soap or generic all-purpose cleaner. I was trying to see the name of that one or a great value, a multi-surface cleaner, whatever your cleaner was, you uh, um, dipped this white filter paper in that, right? And then you put it in the middle of your bacteria. And then we watched it grow. It grew, 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 all right? So now you have to gather data. How do you do that? Well, you're going to measure the zone of inhibition. If, you inhi if I'm inhibiting you, um, from eating cookies. That's not how you would talk, but I would be preventing you from eating cookies. So inhibition is the area that is not, that does not have bacteria growth. So this whole Petri dish has bacteria growth on it. That's like creamish, brownish, yellow. Okay. Directly around this filter paper here is like the plain auger with no bacteria growth on it. That is the zone of inhibition. This one has the least amount of zone of inhibition, and this one has the biggest. Okay, you can't grab small and big, so we need a quantitative data, right? We need to do that. So how do you do it? You put your ruler. We do it in millimeters or the metric system because that's what science does. Can you see that? There we go. Turn it around. So you put it up to the edge of one side to the other, so the zone of inhibition, and you have all your quadrants labeled A, B, C, and D. So that you knew which was what. So I'm going to label this real quick. So you know what I'm talking about. A, B, C, D. Maybe you label them one, two, three, four. I'm not quite sure. All right, ready? So you are going to write A, zone of inhibition is 12 millimeters. Okay. B, zone of inhibition. Oops, it wasn't 12. Sorry, it was 17. I'm silly. Millimeters. B, zone of inhibition. What is that? Can you see, see that? Hit pause. Figure it out. All right. C, zone of inhibition. What is that? Figure that out. And D. Your D might be at water, okay? Your water doesn't kill bacteria, unfortunately. That was off. There you go. Your water doesn't kill bacteria, so your zone of vision on water is going to be zero. There's bacteria growing on the filter paper because that's usually what happens with the water. Then that would be zero, right? So that's important to keep in mind. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but I hope that makes sense on how to measure your agar plate.